Hey everybody, welcome back to Intunes. This is something that I just wanted to do. Uh, it's been a while since I did a YouTube video and I figured I might as well do one. I'm gonna show you the, the Fungo Pops that I've recently purchased from the Comic Con I had went to back in April at the Greatest Philadelphia Comic Con uh, Expo. And then I'm gonna show you around um, my little man cave. Without further ado, let's get into the Fungo Pops. This one actually didn't come from the Comic Con, it came from Comic Collections out of Feastville, PA. It's just one minute out of uh, Philadelphia. But it's the comic book store that I go to and get all my, my comic books and um, some of my, like the action figures I got back there. That's where I go. This is Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Star Wars um, Clone Wars uh, TV show, which I recommend you guys go check out. Who comes with him is Ahsoka, Yoda, and Anakin Skywalker. Now, I already have Ahsoka right here, right there. Uh, I already got her. So, I just need to get Yoda and Luke, which I have on layaway, so we're all good. Um, the TV show itself was amazing. I, I suggest you guys go check it out if you aren't already or haven't already seen it. It's an amazing show, and the seventh season is coming out probably on DC, on um, Disney Plus, whatever they're doing. Um, but yeah, so here he is. Uh, detail looks amazing. Uh, there's no damage on him. His hair looks great and flawless. His little man beard it is 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 amazing. Got the Star Wars logo. logo. The lightsaber is a little bent, um, but whenever you put these guys inside inside the cases and they're in there for a while, until somebody buys them, that's where they're going to be. Um, so yeah, this is, again, uh, this these Fungo Pops, if you haven't noticed that Disney's or Marvel's or whoever it is, um, their Fungo Pops are like the bobbleheads now if you're my my age and older i'm 29 so i'm i put my, my age out there if you're from that era of early 2000s you remember when bobbleheads was popular you had uh you know sports teams with the bobbleheads and all that and they're amazing and they're cool but other companies dc and well whoever it is that you're buying these buying the fungal pops from their heads don't bobble uh, I think that's a plus and a down for that because you you might want to put one of these fungal pops on top of your desk and bobble the head. Then again, you don't want to. You might want to reposition the head of the fungal pop for a different pose. And because they're bobble heads, so you got the spring. You turn it too loose, the head is all the way up from the body. You turn it too tight, the head is all the way down. You might mess up the the spring inside. So yeah. Next up is. Toth from Avatar, The Last Airbender. Uh, nostalgia. I love this. Uh, so here she comes with, uh, for collecting, she comes with, uh, sorry, um, the Avatar himself. Aang with Momo, uh, Katara, Sokka, uh, Prince Suku, Alpha, and Uncle Ira. Ira. Now, um, recently I had just brought, um, not too long ago, I had brought the collect the collectible uh, of DVD for Avatar Last Airbender. And I was on the Nostalgia Road, and I definitely wanted to see what the hype was about for Legend of Korra. I heard some mixed reviews for her, so I said I definitely want to go there. So that my Comic-Con, for my mission for the Comic-Con was Legend of Korra. And the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, Fungo Pop uh, Megazord, the old version, you know, the early 1990s. Um, this looks amazing. Hairstyle looks good. So I went to the con and it was only able to get one. Uh, it wasn't Legends of Carl, they didn't have it. So fortunately, I went to a Target uh, about a month ago and I was able to find it. And I've been watching it. I see what the hype is about for her, her messing up whatever it is that the critics felt as though that she, what she did. Um, but they, again, it's not for our era. It's for the younger era. Now, looking at the detail on here, it's amazing. She doesn't look all roughed up. There's no missing paint. Everything on here is, is nice. A little background on Toph. She's blind. She can't see. That's why the eyes are white. And the way she sees is she used because she's an earthbender. So the way she sees, she's able to every 
like the vibrations from the ground. She's able to see all that. And if you get a chance, YouTube Toph, uh, um Lash Airbender from the Avatar Lash Airbender. Uh, spelled T-O-P-H. That's what you're looking for. You get that. And, um, yeah. So, like I said, with Marvel's Fungal Pops, you can't turn a twist. So, let's say I want her to be in this, this pose, this stance right here. And she's just like that. You can't do that with the Marvel Fungal Pops. Because if you turn, like I say, turn it too much, it gets tightened. And it heads all the way down here. Or you turn it too loose and it gets tightened and it heads all the way up there. So, but this way is just right. And it almost looks like she's surfing, you know, riding, riding the earth waves, you know. All right, on to the next one. Next one we pop. It's from DC, and uh, it's amazing. You guys definitely want to check that out. Definitely, definitely got to check it out. Uh, put it inside the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? It's Batman. Now, Toph was about $10. As you can see right here, Batman is about $10 as well. And who comes with this collectible is the Batman White Lantern. Focus, camera focus. You got the Golden Age Batman. You got the uh, Super Friends Batman. These two guys are before my time. Uh, but if you're a comic book fan, it wouldn't matter because you would just watch reruns. And that's kind of what I did. My parents got me on the Super Friends. Uh, so, yeah. And then you have the Earth One Batman. And then you have the uh, Darkest Night Batman. And then you just have Batman. I have Earth One. This one right here. This guy right here. And I'm about to show him off. Now, anytime I go to any anywhere, GameStop... Uh, you know, there was a tour of us, no longer exists. But I went to the con and I saw this Batman. And I said, Ain't no way in the world I'm leaving without getting him. And this is amazing. The detail on him is awesome. Again, like I said, you could always turn their heads whatever way you want to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it's perfectly fine. The cape detail looks amazing. Uh, this is Earth One, so he's more of a teal color. Uh, I know it looks bluish, but it's teal, so blue teal. Um, and he has like these little lines with his eyebrows here, uh, with his bat logo looks different, or slightly different from the other one. And his little belt. This is amazing. This is who I also got from the Comic Con. So again, he was about like ten dollars. Um, so yeah, like you go to like Walmart, Target, or whoever. And they'll charge you like they're normally 14 about 15 bucks. You go to a Comic Con, and a Comic Con is pretty much like a flea market for pop culture, pop culture things. And so he was about ten dollars, which isn't bad. You know, you about you know whatever deal you get with the vendor, you you get like a, a nice little discount. Now, what I have up next is my Princess Leia. She is about $12, so the range is about 10 to about 30. They don't go that high. But Princess Leia, which is my youngest daughter's name, her name is, Prince, her name is Leia, and we call her Princess Leia. Now, who she comes with for collectibles? Han Solo. Uh, you got uh, Darth Vader when he's being electrocuted by Palpatine or Lord Sidious. Uh, and then you have Palpatine right here. <laughs> Emperor, Emperor Palpatine. You have the Wicked W. Orac, and then you have Lando Calrissian. <laughs> Sorry for messing up. Anyway, I saw this and I was like, dude, we gotta get this before my daughter's born. Um, in honor for my daughter. She'll probably never have it because it'll be down here with the rest of the collectibles. But, you know, you never know. Fun fact, I don't think I don't know if I said this in a previous video, but she was actually, my daughter was actually going to be named after Ahsoka back here. I, I love Ahsoka. She's a strong character. The way she was able to, uh, you know, wield a lightsaber was amazing. And I said, what a perfect name. It's unique. You don't hear it too often. So I was going to call my daughter Ahsoka. Kind of find out the name comes from an indie, uh, indie um, god. And my mom definitely didn't want none of her grand grandchildren named after those. So I said, okay, all right. So we 
searching around. I was like, man, what name can I give her? And I thought, Leia. Princess Leia. The detail on her is amazing as well. I mean, look at this hair. This is when, um, uh, in the last movie, the, um, the Return of the Jedi, she is brought to the to this guy's camp, and they take care of her, and she steps out to see Han Solo and Luke uh, be brought there with uh, Chewbacca and uh, R2-D2 and C-3PO uh, tied up and whatnot, and she just came out. She looks so beautiful. Um... I miss the actress who played her. She was a great actress. And uh, shout out to her family. But bubble, 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 bubble. Princess Leia. Uh, she inspired a lot of uh, uh, strong female characters. Um, you didn't really have that much back in the, you know, late 80s or 70s or whatever. Yeah, I mean, you had a few. I'm not, I'm not going to say that and just be like, I know all. Like, I don't know all. Um, so I'm not gonna put myself out there and be all wrong. You had some strong female characters, but when it came to Star Wars, when it comes to Star Wars, you always gonna have a strong female character, and I respect that. Next up will be Alpha 5. Now I got, got this guy in, the, in this little uh, protector. So in case that it does water, the box and the fungal pot will be safe. Um, I'm gonna take him out though, because psh, why not? And wait, can I? I forgot how I did this. I forgot how I did this, y'all. Maybe I can't. I forgot how I did this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I forgot how I did this. I know you put it, you put something in here. It's in there. I'm sorry, I can't take it out. Um, but Alpha 5, uh, this was a Walmart exclusive, but again, it was at the Comic-Con, so, and I'm sorry about the glare and all that, but who he comes with is the Red Ranger, the White Ranger, and the Pink Ranger. My mission is to go and collect these guys as well, and I'll show you who else I got, so, yeah, we'll be good. Anyway, Alpha 5, uh, it's amazing. He was $30. Now, let me tell you why he was $30. Because the person who was inside the suit was there. And, you know, when those two type of people are there, stuff like this goes up. Because you're planning on go see the actor. You're planning on taking a picture with the actor. And if you are thinking of in the long term where, oh, I can sell this and get money, you know, for when it gets tight. Um you get the actor to sign it. So they thought it was the last one that they had. And I was like, I gotta get Alpha 5. I'm a huge Power Rangers fan. I gotta get Alpha 5. So it was like, yeah, it's about 30 bucks. I was like, 30? Golly, I'm picking up fungal pops for about like five, you know, 10, $12. You charging me 30? It's a small little thing. I was like, but it's the last one. And I knew I wasn't gonna go to no store and try to find it. So I got it for 30 bucks. Unfortunately, I have him so secured in here. Uh, the detail for at least the front face looks like it's no damage to it. Uh, well, let's see a little blue mark on this uh, wrist area. I wish I could show it to you guys, but I don't want to waste time trying to take it out. Uh, let me know in uh, another video if you want me to really do that. And <clears throat> I'll know ahead of time to take him out. Who also is in some those covers? Um, is none other than uh, Leia's father. <laughs> no, not me. Uh, Darth Vader. He's also in here. Uh, he was about 10 bucks. So, you know, like I said before, uh, sorry about the glare. Like I said before, it's like if it's the last Funko Pop that they got and they know people are, trying, are out here searching for it, they're going to up the price because, you know, that's just how salespeople do. Um, who comes with Darth Vader is Grand, uh, was it Tarkin? Grand Tarkin. He's the guy that was in the first movie with uh, Darth Vader. This is uh, Darth Vader uh, Beastman. And this is a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. So if you remember those unboxing videos that I was doing where it was either from Marvel's Collectibles 
or DC's Legends, whatever. I was and I saying they're exclusive. You can only get them from these guys when you order it off of their respective companies. Now uh, Amazon owns it all, so you order it off of Amazon. Uh, so, but this guy was willing to sell his uh, fungal pop. Um, the detail of him looks great. It's all black, obviously. His little, his breathing pad has the right colors on it. It doesn't look damaged. His lightsaber is there. Again, if this is one of the videos, if in a future video you want me to take him out the, out this thing, I'll have enough time to do that. And then shoot the video. So this way I'm not wasting any time. On to the next. On, on to the next one. On to the next. On, on. Anyway. This is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Green Ranger, and again, he was about 10 bucks. Who comes with this guy is the Black Ranger, the Blue Ranger, and the Yellow Ranger from the original Power Rangers. So it just goes to show, I'm almost there. I got Alpha, I got the Green Ranger. I just need to get the red, blue, black, and pink. And I guess the white one, just to make that one satisfied. Anyway, open them up. Now, fun fact, Tommy was the Sixth Ranger. Uh, if you were a kid and you ever played in the schoolyard and you and your friends obviously watch Power Rangers, you, got, you guys are going to want to be the Power Rangers in the schoolyard for however ever limited time. Schoolyard, the teachers have you out for your lunch. And I wanted to be the Green Ranger, just like everybody wanted to be the Green Ranger. And a taller guy, he's a friend, we're real, real, real cool. And at the time, he was like, no. I'll be the Green Ranger. You be the Red Ranger. I don't want to be red. Kind of find out red is my favorite color now. <laughs> also, uh, Jason was the uh, leader of the Power Rangers. So, thank you, good friend of mine, for telling me that I need to be the Red Ranger because I'm the leader and you listen to me. <laughs> anyway, uh, so here's the Green Ranger. Uh, right here, it looks a little looks a little run down with the paint I don't really care because the rest of them looks amazing uh, again you can turn his head any way you want and it's all good the his shield to protect him looks amazing uh, he also has this little uh, sword right here you know what I'm saying uh, the top of his head looks amazing. There's no scratches right here, nothing like that. This is, I saw this, I said, dude, if I get an Alpha and I'm getting that Megazord, I gotta get him. I gotta get him. I was looking around and I've seen a few Pink Ranger, a few Red Ranger, a few here and there, but like they didn't have them. I'm like, if, if, if they had all the Power Rangers there, you know, I would have been like, listen, I'm planning on buying you out of the Power Rangers. Can there be a deal? I'm willing to pay, but can it be a deal? Don't don't have me pay individually for them. That's that's just disrespectful. Um. So, but nobody had it, so I had to get it the way I had to get it. All right, on to the next one. We'll put him down here. I got the Avatar Last Airbender. Now this one is different. This is a Hot Topic exclusive, so still part of the collection with Toph, but it's his exclusive. Him on his um his little wind ball that he creates. This was $15, as you see the price right there. And again, who comes with him are the same people who come with Toph, uh, Uncle Iroh, Appa, um, Suku, Suku uh, Prince Suku, Toph, uh, Sokka, uh, Katara, and then Aang with Momo on it. Now this is amazing. I found this at the comic. I did not know. I went to GameStop. No, I found this at the Comic Con. It was at the Comic Con, that's why it's 15. Because if it was at GameStop, it wouldn't have Hot Topic exclusive on it. Just two different companies. See, so yeah, I got it at the, the um, Comic Con. He is amazing. Um, this is amazing. Oh my goodness. It'd be awesome if they had like a little little thing in there where, you, where it like, lights up or whatever. But here he is. He's just gliding on his little air ball. And it looks a little roughy, a little roughy, like dusty a little bit. But his cubicle ball head shape is good. There's no damage on it. Uh, you can see the detail of the air blowing up and having this uh, top thing flying around. And you know, just 
can, you know. Uh, I love it. Like I said, I I was fortunate enough to be able to get the uh, get this uh, get the um, the, the collectible DVD, and I watched it nostalgia all the way. And I I see the difference between Legend of Korra and Last Airbender, but again, when you're a company trying to make money to say, hey, parents, you remember when you watched this when you were growing up? Now we have something for your children. But we're not trying to get them to really watch. We're trying to get them to watch this so that way they can get you guys to buy the product. You come buy the product. It's not for you. It's for the children. That's that's what it is. All these extra figures I got going on around here is for the children. I'm just an, an adult child who loves it. Now, I want to get to... I got two big ones. Two big ones. Two old big ones. Out of all the fungal pops that I have, these are the big ones. I thought my... Um, actually, I think my Thanos uh, from, uh, from uh, Infinity Wars is big, but I don't know. I might display them out. Anyway, this one is Voltron right here. Now, a lot of people might get Voltron confused when you're doing like a quick glance. Oh, the camera right there. And uh, a lot of people might get confused, sorry about that, might get confused between Voltron and the Megazord because they similarly look alike. Not that much, but similarly look alike. The color detail of them are similar, but not alike because you don't have a pink ranger at all. You don't have pink anything for Age of, uh, for Voltron, um, which is on Netflix. I advise you guys to go check out. It's an amazing uh, uh, series they got going on there. I think it's on its eighth season. And I think I'm still on like three or fourth season. I watch whenever I, I'm bored and have nothing else to do. Anyway, who comes with Voltron? You have Princess Alora. You have uh, Shiro. You have uh, Keith. You have... Uh, I'm sorry, Lance Harper, is that name? Oh, Paige. Paige and Hunk. Paige and Hunk. Paige is a girl. And that threw me off because I forgot about that. They, they upgraded uh, the TV show, so I advise you guys to give it a shot. Give it a chance to go check out. Now, this is the first time I'm ever taking these guys out the box, even though those guys right there. And I think it's the first time anybody's taking this guy out of the box. So, yeah, I know probably price value goes down when you open it up. And if anybody decides to YouTube, go on YouTube and check out my channel and say, I want to buy this from him, but I don't know, maybe he opened it. And somebody can mention, you know, people Google, they do the search. And they'll probably search, say, hey, he opened up the box. That devours, that, that dampens the price of what he's selling it for. If you hear all the noise, again, I'm in the basement. I'll get in a little bit more of that when I show you around. Um, this looks amazing. Oh my gosh. This looks amazing. This is like something I might just keep out, keep out. Yeah, let me, uh, and it stands on its own. All right, anyway, so check out the detail. Okay, you have the green lion, the yellow lion, the blue lion, the red lion, and the black lion is the head. Look at this, look at this, the sword, oh my gosh oh my gosh this detail is amazing look at this oh a little scratch up here so maybe it was taken out before me but i mean just look at the detail i think i got this for like 20 bucks this is a six inch figure a fungal pop so he's a big guy he's a big guy this is i've been eyeing it since i brought it and i just left it in the box and we were moving i was like make sure that box doesn't get damaged Make sure none of the boxes get damaged. But I was like, make sure this doesn't get damaged. Look at this. This is amazing. Oh, my goodness. I'm about to go on Netflix and, and watch this series and just hold this in my hand like, I have, I have, I have that. That's, that's, that's what I have. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is, this is awesome. Let me know if I should have some of the Funko Pops just out, just to be out. Because if so, then that's what I'll do. I'll just have them out. Having this sleeve. I was thinking about that for the uh, figures that I got in the back too. Man, just this is just amazing. It's so amazing that I can't get the. Well, no, it's the correct way. Just 
when it comes to six figure, six inch figure uh, fungal pops, they always they always seem a little difficult to get the uh, things to go back in there in the right spot uh, because you're working with something so big, but it's like it's it's shaped for them, so I don't know why it's ever a problem to really get them in there. And then you don't want to push it in from the back because then it'll never clip in. Because all you're doing is just pushing the back in and it's not connected. And he's not in. This guy's not in. Um, Alright, it's in good enough and secured. Put him back in the box. I say the first big fungal pop that I got was that was like six inch was the uh, the Hulk. I had got that, the classic one. One where he's uh, gray, the gray Hulk, and Bruce Banner turned to the gray Hulk, the original Hulk, uh, before color came into his picture. I had put tape on this, because they had tape on it, uh, but he's taped in here. And, um, I use my handy dandy scissors. Cause I said, man, I'll open them up. Now those other two would have been time sensitive, and I didn't want to take that one off just to try to open them up. I mean, I could have paused the video and then restarted after I got them open. I figured that would have been a hassle. And it's always nice to get the commentators, the people here on the YouTube that will check out this video, to say, yeah, open it up, open it up, and then I'll do it. Oh man, now he is boxed in like the rest of the Funko Pops. Now, this guy looks amazing as well. Oh my goodness. Now, early in there, you can see little scratch marks. I'ma say they had this thing out and it got damaged and they thought they could sell it. It was like $30. I said, I'ma need you to take at least $10 off. You see those scratches in there? You're not getting my money like that, playoff. Excuse me, but the this looks amazing to see his head. His head kind of turns, but it's like it, it, I'm not going to try it. The detail on this makes it look like the original Megazord. I I never had the original Megazord, not not in like toy figure. I had the Power Rangers in space one, and I had the uh, Zeo uh, Power Ranger Megazord, but I never had the Mighty Morphin one. And this is amazing. So if you don't know how it works, you got the blue. You got the yellow, you got the pink, the pink ranger is the uh, pterodactyl, and then you got the uh, black ranger, he's the arms, and then you got the uh, red ranger who um, is the T-Rex. So this, yes, this is amazing. I mean, check out the detail on these guys. Fungal pop galore. Now, uh, Voltron stood. Let's see if the power, ooh! It stands, it stands. I don't know, I might I might do like a little quick shot of uh, them facing each other, face off. There was a YouTube video where they had the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Voltron uh, battle one another. It was awesome, Voltron won for some reason, I don't know. Let's chuck it up to anime. <laughs> uh, but this is, yes, this is amazing. Now again, you can see like these little marks right here. I was like, dude, I'm not paying $30. Like I, I know somebody else has him around. I'm gonna go find him. He's like, okay, okay, okay. I'll take I'll take the money off. I'll take the money off. I'll take the $10 off. I mean, I shoot. I don't mind paying $20 for this. Don't charge me an extra $10 knowing darn well that my man is not all the way up where they're supposed to be. Now, if you guys would like for me to display these guys around the man cave, once I get something situated and settled in, uh, like I'll show you what I mean in a few, then go ahead and comment section down and below and say, Kev, I think you should do that. I think you should display them. I mean, because I was always thinking about displaying them anyway, because uh, they look too cool to just be in the cases, they look too cool to just be in the cases. But I'm gonna tape this bad boy back up with my handy damn tape that I use for my comic books whenever I, whenever I put them away in their little uh, bag and board. And it holds it together. Oh, see now. 
and it holds it together. So that is all the fungal pops. And yes, I will be putting them up. Now check, I'm, I'm a little far behind on my comic books. I'm about like a week behind them. I will be a week behind. I just wanna make sure I'm able to keep up the bills. And I'm a definitely, but I'm definitely gonna still be reading my comic books. So definitely stay in tune for, uh, in tune hop in. Uh, where I'll give you a couple of comic books I think you should definitely go check out even if it's weeks behind definitely go check out these comic books uh, but without further ado I'm going to show you around the man cave alright so if you stay towards the end of the video first and foremost I'd like to say thank you I know this is a very long video I'm going to try to specify it up so it's not that boring but up against this wall I was planning on putting on a rack for my comic books to display them the ones that I truly deeply love and I was planning on putting it all the way down, not all the way at the bottom, but close to the bottom. And that's where I was planning on doing that. Over here is where I would have, in case I need to put up more racks, I'll put, I would have so much space, like so much wall, let me back up. This, that's how much space of a wall I would have. And then I was planning on probably doing the same thing over there. But I'm gonna keep these boxes where they are. I'm probably gonna slide them out and have them uh, have the end facing against the wall. Uh, that I, I know I'm gonna have like a lot of boxes <laughs> uh, as you can see I already have them here now right here smack dab in the middle of the floor I was planning on getting a nice little carpet but a nice little lazy boy chair and a little table next to it and so whenever I need to get away from the family and I just need to be me although I'm a man so that never really happens I would plan on reading my comic books down here so peacefully and quiet now as you can see as i was putting up the fungal pops this is where i'll have some of the fungal pops as you can see i already have some stacked up and i got ones in the front and i got some in the back that's not cool because you got to display the fungal pops everybody has to see the fungal pops so i was planning on putting it up against the wall up over here some of them stacking right here I might get another shelf uh just to secure and make sure they're safe uh i got the action figures all up in here again as well I have them stacked all the way down. Let me know if you want me to display the action figures. I got my Ahsoka. If you remember my Ahsoka, when I was uh, doing videos at my uh, at the other house I was at, I had her out. So let me know if you want to have these guys out. I got collectibles. I still got collectibles to go get. So just let me know in the comment section down below. Over here, uh, I have the grand, well, as you can see, I have the ones in the showcase. Let's play on hanging these up, but they have little hangers in the back. Um, and the rest up here. Now, I, behind these showcase ones are the graphic novels. Those are going to stay there. Uh, I definitely would like to recommend this book, Bat, uh, Batman, The Last uh, Night on Earth, book one. I think there's going to be two more books. Definitely go check that out. I recommend that. And that will be your slightly introduced to hop ins because it's been a while. Now, you see those stack of comics down there? Those are the ones I was planning on putting on the racks uh, once I buy them. And again, like I said, I was going to put some of the fungal pops, the extra fungal pops, up against this wall. I'm constantly going to be down here to make sure that it does not leak down here at all. And then, as you can see, I have the rest of the fungal pops uh, previously in here that I definitely want to put over there. I just haven't unpacked them yet. And you see the workstation where I do the video. So when you see me sitting back there, boom. There's a lot more that has been added on to the um, to the iPhone uh, iMovie, which is the app that I use to make all my YouTube videos. I plan on getting a green screen to put it back there. They have a special feature that I can use a green screen for that. I don't want to hold you guys up no more longer. I'd like to say thank you if you stayed even up to the 20 minute part of the video. If you are a true into Uber, <laughs> that's what I've said it. I'll say it again. If you are a true in tune Uber, uh, I say I like to say thank you and I appreciate you and I love you for supporting my channel and believing in me and thinking that what I have to say for comics and pop culture things are important. With that being said, I am Kev. You are you. Let's stay in tune.